Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Cheerful service, May 24. And we desire that each one of you show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. Hebrews 6.11 the Lord looks with approval upon the works of his faithful servants. It has always been the duty of God's chosen people to labor unselfishly. But some neglect the work they ought to do, and others are overburdened to make up for their deficiencies. If all would cheerfully do their part, they would be sustained. But those who complain and murmur at every step will receive neither help nor reward. God was displeased with the children of Israel because they murmured against him and against Moses, whom he had sent to be their deliverer. In a marvelous manner, he brought them out from their bondage in the land of Egypt, that he might elevate and ennoble them and make them a praise in the earth. But there were difficulties to be encountered and weariness and privations to be endured. It was necessary for them to bear these hardships. God was bringing them from a state of degradation and fitting them to occupy an honorable place among the nations and to receive important and sacred trusts. They forgot their bitter service in Egypt. They forgot the goodness and power of God displayed in their behalf in their deliverance from bondage. They forgot how their children were spared when the destroying angel passed over Egypt. They forgot the grand exhibition of divine power at the Red Sea. When Jehovah proclaimed, Here shall be thy proud waves stayed, and the waters were rolled together, forming a solid wall. They forgot that while they had crossed safely in the path that had been opened for them, the armies of their enemies attempting to follow them were overwhelmed by the waters of the sea. God does not bind upon anyone burdens so heavy that at every step he must complain of the load he is obliged to bear. It is the friction and not the constant motion that wears the machinery. It is the continual worry and not the work they do that is killing these persons. There is peace and contentment in the service of Christ, and as he was about to leave his disciples, he made them this parting promise. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you.